Mama, how about I make supper? Great. You find it cold in here? You wearing Papa's coat? Yeah. Hey, you're not getting sick, are you? No. Well, if you are, a little vitamin B will fix you right up. You know what vitamin B is? No. Vitamin bacon. No! Sometimes it's beer. No! Now what can I do for you? Okay, flip that over. And then do the other side. It's so slippery. Because it's fatty and delicious. What? what? Abracadabra, abracazoo, make you into a prince forever. Wing! Wait a second. Nothing happened. Ha! Pipe down over there, you heathens. Have your lunch. Uh, so it's. Buddy. It's kind of <laughs> okay. So it's too much, too thick. So what we do is uh, once she taws out, we de-ticken her and cutting her half in two. You see that? Score line, so forth. And just remember, cut towards your bum, not your chum. Baby doll, I don't mean to alarm you, but it's a good thing that my grandmother is neither Polish nor living, because we only got but the two onions, no potatoes to speak of. And we're just about out of beer. After this one and the other one, there is a... Sounds like a travesty. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, you want to keep up your end of the bargain here and try to make a movie? <laughs> Maybe name it uh, Hamlet? Hamlet? No? Frankenswine. No. How about uh, Jurassic Pork? Yes. Just like the last time we had sex. Ah! You constantly have to test the effectiveness of your tongs. Minimum three taps every few seconds. Of course, the trouble is, once your better three quarter points out how irritating it is, you gotta do it even more. See how long it takes. Please stop. Ah, uh, it's the little things. There's a slug. A snowsuit. Come on. Get up. Mama's got the consumption. There's powerful, healthful benefits to being in the great of outdoors, especially with a... Fire and some red wine. Come on. You can do it. Mush husky. Mush. It's incredible to see your baby girl uh, skate off into the sunset. Gets you kind of right in the fields. In a good way, but also in a bad way. My baby's no more. But hey. But hey, uh, oh, you got my glove. <laughs> <sighs> Buddy boy! That a boy. That a boy. Oh, thanks for picking up my glove. What do you think, little man? You want to try this maybe next year? Maybe the year after. A little sense in rushing into things. Eh? Don't grow up too quick, my darling boy. Huh? Oh yeah, those are pretty neat. What's that? You trust to the anti-consumptive powers of red wine and the great out of doors. Tell the rambler, the gambler, the back, holy sh <laughs> Shiver. Yeah. You know, you got to feel for ladies. I love them. They're my favorite kind of people. But some things are just far, far easier when you're a man. <sighs> oh, ça, ça fait du bien, ma beauté fatale. En veux-tu d'autres vins? Oh, I don't know if my lungs can take it. <coughs> <coughs> I realize that... <laughs> you're not supposed to drink it. Or, I mean, you're not supposed to put it right in your gill holes. Oh, my gills. Oh, God, it burns. She'll do. <sighs> Something inherently satisfying about seeing your own breath. Unless you're inside and there's visible stink lines. It's getting late. What do you want for supper? What do you think, Chickadee? You ought to have some vegetables. That's what the unicorns are for. <laughs> <laughs> Clever girl. Glug, 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 glug. On est presque party. La température est quasiment là. 
le maïs, le, le, le manger, paysan de polonais, euh, tout simple, carrément délicieux. We have the meat with holes in it, taken off the rock salt. We just got to put some pepper on there. I asked many a times as to whether or not you put, uh, what's that, paprika. Thing is, you crisp it up so much that the paprika just dies. It doesn't hold anything because that, um, you know, that spicy heat is in the fat and you render a lot of the fat off. So there's not much point in putting it on too early. I don't know. In this case, I think we're just going to put pepper on there towards the end. We got the Funyuns. We got a little bit of uh, vegetarian fare there, just in case. And of course, Granny McNamara's secret family recipe for pierogies. Straight out the deep freeze, wow. Yeah, oh yeah. For God's sakes, be quick about it. Yeah, still there. <laughs> One thing about the wine, well, any old port in a storm, as the wife says, it ain't tea bag. I mean, it's no beer of mine, but it's no rum and coke. It's also no tequila shot. You know what I'm saying? La Fence. Hold on, a bumblefuck. He plays his cards right. You see, the poke holes are closing up. A little tough to show single handed in the dark. And yet, just about every night, I manage to do it. What you gotta do, we gotta open that up a little bit. That's the beauty of the planche. I don't give no never mind any pokey bits. Now, once we flip them, it's time to put the other stuff on. Cooking, shepherding. It's all about the timing. Uh, I don't get the timing right every time. But, oh, look at that. I was up. I'm sweating the vegetables a little bit. Yeah, well, we don't want to caramelize these totally, turn them to mush, uh, regular white guy style. We want them to have a little bit of al dente. And then the secret family recipe here. The devil is in the details. I even put them in a plastic bag. Pierogi? What the fuck is wrong with you? You never had a pierogi? It's a potato dumpling. It's delicious. Inside is potato with uh, cheese, a bit of funyuns, bit of gar all sorts of deliciousness. It, it, it's potato, the next level of potato. Hey, what are you doing drinking all my wine? See, that's a special kind of woman what loves the krauts. Two kinds of krauts and not a stitch of vegetables to be found in the fridge. Am I, are you sure you're not drinking? Ich liebe dich, mein lieber shit. No. Sounds like you fell down two flights of stairs. See? German at heart. This one. That's the one? Mm -hmm. What's so special about this one? I don't care for kraut myself. I'm, I'm kind of more of a, a sweetheart rather than a sour heart. Vinegar? Yeah? Fermented. Oh, fermented. Way better. Is that right? This apparently is the cock for Dolly. Oh, you are a sour, sour lassie. <laughs> in deference to the bon vivant what uh, provided their expertise to make this tasty fruit of the wine fruit of the vine that uh, depends if you're german or english we uh we're gonna kind of overdo these ones cajun style of course cajun being uh, a bastardization english bastardization of acadien which is french canadian of the atlantic provinces the more you know. So, these pierogies are a titty bit Cajun style. No matter, they'll still be delicious. Do me nut, my chérie. Do me nut. Didn't have the heart to tell her that's all it'll take. That's why God made bedside tables. Am I right? Mit Kraut? Ja, bitte. Oh, she's a crispy old swine flesh. What do you think, baby doll? Too much for you. Too much. Oh. Yeah, well, more for me. It's like pork cracklings. Oh, oh. Gross. There's a big chunk here that might be softer. That's a big bastard. It looks really crispy, this piece right here. <laughs> well, you know, don't have us to me, goddamn. I'm sorry, baby doll. I messed up. That's that's way overdone. But what what would you like? What was your favorite part? What's the best? Kids in bed and served. Ah, <laughs> cheers to that. Cheers. Let's see what the true connoisseur has to say. Buddy boy, get it. <coughs> oh my God. It's 
stop smoking. It's some Cuban cigars, but the big fat ones, they do look good in your hand. Yeah.